so this video is going to be uh, removing the front engine cradle, fabbing up some pieces that will allow me to cut the middle out, and then putting it back in the car and fabbing a bar that, group, that goes across that'll go under the engine. Uh, for two reasons, it'll, it'll, it'll act as a spreader to keep the suspension from pushing in, and two, it'll hang down lower than the engine and it'll protect the engine from getting hit because I plan on having this car sit lower than stock even though it's going to have a much bigger taller than stock engine uh, I built new rocker panels and they hang down about an inch lower than stock uh, on purpose um, and I'm going to get some uh, you know rubber plastic uh, rocker panel extension so when I take it out and put it on a track I have relatively good aerodynamics not too much air under the body uh, so the car is going to be low even though it's have going to have all this massive tall big stuff in it um, so I'm gonna get to work
So a conclusion to the video. I went with my plan of taking the stock uh, engine cradle and modifying it with some DOM tube and it would work if I ran it like this but I figured some things out. So what I'm going to do is make a bar that runs from the uh, rearmost bumper bolt uh, which is drilled all the way through the frame although the bolt doesn't go through so I'll drill out the nut on the bumper support, put a bolt all the way through the frame, and use a piece of DOM with a washer welded in the end of it as an attachment point, and the bar will run uh, to the inner rear suspension mount point, uh, the, the back of the control arm with the weird shaped uh, bracket. And I'm going to use two of these slide-on weldable suspension tabs like are used for four-link bars or shock mounts in tube frame vehicles. And I will mount the control arm uh, to that lower bar. And the bar will run down each side of the engine bay. And I'm going to do it that way because it'll give me adjustability. Uh, if I keep it that wide and underneath the control arm, then anyone that wants to do the front CV axles with a uh, LS style V8 will be able to do exactly like I'm doing. But it also means that I will be able to use a stock steering rack uh, because everything will be out of the way of that. Uh, if people want to do a rear steer convert with an LS and use a truck pan but still have, but only have two wheel drive, they'll be able to do that so I'll be able to add bars in different places as long as I have the two main crossbars and then one uh, my front bar that'll keep the suspension from flexing inward or outward uh, I can move that wherever it needs to be uh, and as high or low as it needs to be for the pan so it'll give me basically a big rectangle that I can build everything off of and can be adjusted but the main thing will be the two bars that go front to back. And it's similar to the way uh, V8 WRX built their kit, but their kit used a set of fabricated control arms, and I'm going to make this kit work with stock control arms. Um, because cost of all these little things, like control arms and bushings and bolts and nuts and all of that, adds up and, and will end up being about half the cost of the project. Uh, the engine, transmission, are not the expensive part of this. It's all the other things that go with it. Uh, so the, the, the less I can uh, modify, uh, the better it'll be for me and for everyone else that wants to do this. So the next time I come out here, I'm going to remove the stock subframe completely, and I'm going to fab up a new one the way I see it working. 
and then I can put the car on the ground and start with the engine and transmission and the way that I'm going to design this the engine transmission will sit on a, a cradle on wheels that I can roll in and out and it'll be like Audi or Volkswagen style to get the engine out of this car uh, you will jack the car up and the engine will come out of the bottom and I'm thinking that I'll sell a rolling engine cradle for the LS specifically uh, so that all you have to do is take out a couple of uh, bolts on your oil pan uh, set the cradle on, under the oil pan and it'll sit on the oil pan rail and uh, be trapezoidal with some wheels so it'll be supported and can be easily moved and I'll put it to where uh, engine and transmission will balance and the whole thing will come out uh, so I will make that available for sure uh, because I haven't seen any and I think that being able to roll the engine around at correct ride height so let's say the bottom of the pan four inches off the ground uh, with a truck pan is is a necessary item so uh, I'll work on that and work on this uh, and thanks for watching and subscribe like uh, click on notifications that way when I do put up a new video you can watch it um, thanks